All right, so uh, conversation is a game for two or more players. Its purpose is to establish and build rapport, as well as to efficiently distribute a pool of social capital. This is awkwardly placed. Basics of play are relatively simple and can be mastered in uh, five minutes, I hope. However, actual play can be fractally complex and multi-layered. Compl conversation must be played in a condition of rapport. <laughs> rapport is in-group feeling. Uh, loss of rapport ends the game. Play begins only when rapport is achieved and lasts as long as rapport lasts. Players may join or leave at will. A good game will tend to expand while a bad game will tend to contract. <laughs> Conversation is played with social capital. Social capital is essentially influence. It measures how likely the group is to go along with what you suggest. Critically, you must be aware that the stakes of conversation are not limited. You risk your entire role of social capital every time you play. Infuriatingly, the more social capital you've lost in a game of conversation, the more likely the loss is to spread outside the immediate game. <laughs> the goal of the game is constructive dialogue. In playing, we build something between us, sometimes a new idea or at least a new understanding, other times simply rapport, but something larger than ourselves is built if the game is going well. <laughs> Every time you make a play, you risk some social capital. Just like a betting round in poker. Unlike poker, there isn't a formal betting schedule. Anyone who feels like it can make a move at any time, but every move is implicitly a bet. This tends to mean that if you dominate the game, you're the only one with all the social capital in the pot, and if you win, you're only getting back your own social capital. <laughs> the low-risk strategy in a game of conversation is best characterized as active listening. It involves being seen to hear what other people are saying and being seen to understand it, and by extension, to understand them. Polite expressions of interest, relevant questions, and encouraging facial expressions are all generally winning moves. <laughs> a riskier class of moves are expressions of authority. Stating an opinion or pitching a topic are examples of expressions of authority. Generally, you're more likely to lose capital in making these plays than making active listening plays. The relative risk inherent in these two strategies lies in the amount of influence one attempts to exert. The more influence you exert, the more people have to decide whether to go along with you or not. Essentially, you're attempting to influence the direction of the conversation. If you succeed, everyone perceives you as having influence over the direction of the conversation. Influence is social capital. That means that the amount of social capital you already have has a direct bearing on whether or not your gambit succeeds. Someone with a great deal of social capital can make a very bad move and still gain by it simply because his or her social capital influenced the outcome of play. Conversely, someone with very little or negative social capital can make all the right moves and still lose effectively because everyone perceives them as a loser. <laughs> the game is over when rapport is lost. Things can, can cause the loss of rapport include monologuing, three statements without an intervening active listening gambit, controversial opinion, exposing social class differences, and uh, demonstrably failing to understand what the hell's going on, or conversely, demonstrably failing to be understood. Lock, the last thing that can cause loss of rapport is everyone just deciding they'd rather be doing something else. This is actually an optimum outcome for game of conversation. In summation, conversation is a challenging game for two or more players. More than that, it is the foundational game, one of the foundational game models of civilization. I encourage you all to play the game whenever you have the chance because its mastery will do more than any other single thing to ensure success in your future endeavors. And it might get you laid. Thank you.